Okay, a little bit of a tool review. Um, <clears throat> my time working as a diesel tech, uh, or I should say a fabricator, diesel tech, PM mechanic, a little bit of everything, uh, in, in the years I had there in the early 2000s working in the field, I had various tools I work with. Again, I've bought tools from the tool truck. I bought mics, snap-ons. Uh, I bought S and K or SK tools uh, from independent hardware stores and dealers. I bought Craftsman tools. I shopped at Lowe's. Bought some Cobalt stuff. Uh, I bought a lot in my local Advance Auto Parts stores, NAPA, Napa stores, Auto Zones, wherever else. I buy tools not so much off the name brand, name, name brand, but how they feel, uh, the quality, the warranty. Uh, price is an issue to a point, but uh, I believe a good quality product is worth every penny. Um, but uh, again, I want to talk about a couple tools that I almost couldn't do without in my roll cart when I was working in the field. These two items right here I bought from Mike Tools. Uh, I really overpaid for this screwdriver, but I needed a good quality screwdriver. I didn't have anything real high quality in the box, so I purchased this one off the Mike truck. There was a special going on. I think I could have bought two picks and a screwdriver. It was like a buy one, get one thing. You know, it was probably 2006, but I bought two picks. I lost one of them. Still have this one. Pretty good tools. But I never used this pick a whole lot, as you can tell. Still looks in good shape. Uh, the other pick I use quite a bit is the one I end up losing. I think I left it in the back of a truck. Uh, a cheaper ratchet that's a stubby is an Amco. Uh, bought this at Advance Auto Parts, you know, probably 10, 12 years ago. This has been an awesome ratchet and it has not let up. I, I love it. I want to be able to keep that. I hope it holds up. It does have a lifetime warranty, but getting it replaced could be an issue. Uh, another screwdriver I had that was a cheap one, a tractor supply screwdriver I kept in the uh, tool cart and I used it for certain hose clamps I had to reach a little far. For a screwdriver under $4, this one come from Tractor Supply and it's a master hand, which I have several master hand tools from Tractor Supply, which I think they got a different supplier today, but you can still warranty them out at your Tractor Supply store. They'll give you something comparable that they sell today. But very good screwdriver for a cheap price. And you can tell it's a high quality alloy. Now, these half inch drive metric 12 point sockets are pretty tough. And a lot of people looked at them in my box and said, oh, those are Matco. I can tell by the tray. No, they're not. I bought these at Lowe's. These are Cobalt's. Um, I've used the you know what out of these. These have taken some serious abuse. Um, I've had them in my tool bag. I've driven them everywhere. They clean up nice. They're made of a good alloy. I've cleaned them in bar saw, and you can tell they're really shiny and nice. This set, I think I bought for under 25, 20 bucks, something like that at Lowe's. I had the same set, almost, priced with Snap One, and it was 160 bucks. And that was over 10 years, almost 10 years ago. And I went to Lowe's and got the same set for, I'm not saying the same set, but for 25 bucks. I have never broken one. I've had breaker bars on these. I've, unfortunately, you can slap my fingers, but I've used air impacts on them. I shouldn't have. I know that. I know the danger of it. I've used these a lot. I've never broken one, and they do have a lifetime warranty from Lowe's. Uh, again, I just could not. I'd like to have them in snap one, but I just could not swing $160 for this set. 